The actual number is UHM 63000. The Times was forced to issue a correction. The so-called reporter responsible for this irresponsible error is a woman named Apoorva Mandevili. This close-minded, incurious Wokatard once used her verified Twitter account to declare the Wuhan lab leak theory racist. But, of course, we now know that the lab leak theory is the most likely explanation for the spread of the coronavirus, and we know it despite so-called reporters, like Mandevili, who put woke and narrative above truth, reality, common sense. The Times article in question, a new vaccine strategy for children, just one dose, for now, ran on Wednesday and told its gullible readers, nearly 900,000 children have been hospitalized with COVID-19 since the pandemic began, and about 520 have died. It took a whole day for the Times to correct its unforgivable mistake. The article now reads, 63,000 children were hospitalized with COVID-19 from August 2020 to October 2021, and at least 520 have died. That's precisely 837,000 fewer. A correction was also added at the bottom of the article, and not just for the 900,000 number. Gullible Times readers were hit with a total of three corrections. One, an earlier version of this article incorrectly described actions taken by regulators in Sweden and Denmark. They have halted use of the Moderna vaccine in children. They have not begun offering single doses. Two, the article also misstated the number of COVID hospitalizations in U.S. children. It is more than 63,000 from August 2020 to October 2021, not 900,000 since the beginning of the pandemic. 3. In addition, the article misstated the timing of an FDA meeting on authorization of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for children. Nowhere does the Times explain where that ridiculous 900,000 number came from. Have you noticed how these errors only ever happen one way, and that's in the direction of furthering the left-wing narrative? That's how we know these are not honest errors or simple oopsies. If they were genuine errors and simple oopsies, every once in a while, an error would be reported by the fake media that goes against the left-wing cause. Also missing, and still missing from this New York Times piece, is some context. Despite my best efforts, I could not find the numbers, but before we launch what will be a very divisive policy of vaccinating children, I'd like to know how the coronavirus death and hospitalization rates for those 12 and under compares to the common flu. This is journalism 101, which is no longer practiced, especially it's also worth mentioning that, back in February, the Times fired its previous coronavirus reporter, Donald McNeil, a 45-year veteran. His sin, two whole years ago, and in an academic way to answer a student's question, he uttered the N-word. As far as I know, McNeil's coverage of the China flu never required a correction, much less three corrections. But Wokotards aren't hired on merit. They're hired because they put the fascist, left-wing cause above truth, accuracy, and intellectual curiosity.